are going to start with one of my all-time favorite foods, a burger. Marilyn Smith, get in here. Oh, how I love burgers. I, know I love you, you too. Do. I love you too. I know, but you love burgers. I love burgers. I, I, I say know. all the time, I'd be a vegetarian if it weren't for the <laughs> burger. Like, I love a burger. I love the fact that you're going to be mixing it up a little bit. Yeah. So these aren't like your regular no. everyday burger. No. And, you know, the reason I'm doing it is because on Saturday nights growing up in Vancouver, my dad made hamburgers every night and we watched Hockey Night in Canada. Aww. And it would be Hamburger Night in Canada. <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And so I'm from Vancouver and, you know, we didn't Show have a it team. Off. Vancouver Canucks. Ew. That's okay. We'll support that. Yeah. Yes, we will. But Thank we didn't have Canucks. a team. So my dad was a Boston Bruin fan, and then when the Canucks uh, came. So I'm kind of, you know, by there. And so my husband's a Bruin fan. Yeah. So now I'm a Bruin fan, like you're a Montreal Canadian fan. That's right. Yeah, because yes. we have to, you know. We, we have to support. You have to support yeah. your honey. No, my okay. husband will leave me. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. I've got to support the house. I know, and when the Canucks were playing the Bruins, oh my gosh. Anyway, oh, no. okay. What oh. do you do? Well, at, wherever the home game was, I would wear that jersey. <laughs> It's like my husband's going, traitor! <laughs> anyway, get over it. Okay, they lost anyway. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a bison burger because when I was oh, on I my trip, bison. I do too. It's really good. Now, I love beef, but when I was out, you know, when I went across Canada, yes. we had bison in Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, even parts of BC. Yes. And in Ontario, we get most of our bison uh, from Quebec. So I'm putting on my my blue coordinated uh, I, I, I don't know did you notice that I'm wearing cannot colors in the tail oh it's my just gosh, it's frightening totally oh I'm I nuts. love it isn't that cool anyway so I've got some bison here um you can mostly get it frozen in Ontario but you can get it fresh in other provinces right and bison is really lean but we're not going to add a lot of stuff and this is from uh, Buffalo Girl Loves Bison Jennifer Bain is a food editor at the Toronto Star this is her recipe oh, nice. and I love it and so this okay. is it and the reason I'm doing this Tell is because you that. saw the uh, you saw my Instagram uh, account when I was doing burgers oh my I know, and it was these cool. ones that I was looking at. Okay, pinch, just a pinch of that. Oh, just a pinch. Yeah, just a pinch. And, I was going to uh, put the whole thing well, in. Well, you can put more than my pinch. Put, okay, there you go. And okay. so it's just parsley and ground uh, and, and really finely chopped garlic. Right. And the trick to making a really good burger is not to, you know, mix the crap out of it. you got to do it. Real, that's a really you good technical like word. You fold yeah. it you're, together, yeah. right? You're just gently just doing gently it. Just massaging All right? It. Just massaging it. And that's mm. it for this one. So that's a cinchy one. We're going to make a condiment. We're going to make blueberry bar barbecue sauce in the next segment to See, go with that's it. that's interesting. And I saw that on your Instagram as yes. well because most people don't think of using some kind of a fruit topping with a burger. It was really cool. But it and makes then sense. some goat cheese and that's from uh, Metro I Like Their Irresistible Line. So that's what Yummy. we're going to go on that burger. Now this burger okay. is from another cookbook from another girl from that same competition I was judging. Yes. Uh, and her book's called Pucker. Her name is Gwendolyn Richards. These are two Canadian uh, cookbook authors. I like supporting Canadians. Yes you do. And, and so you're great at that. I love doing that. So this is her pork kind of uh, Vietnamese burger. So it has yeah. one egg. Now we're going to just start dumping things in because it's, it's amazing. It's a burger. It, I like that. Yes, that's right. Yeah, right on. Okay, so that's the hot chili garlic mm, stuff. All? Can I do all? Do the whole thing. That yeah, yeah. Stuff. Oh, good question because I wouldn't right? let you do that with the pepper. No, you wouldn't I'm let me so, do it with the I'm pepper. I'm such a witch. So I try and follow the <laughs> You did. It was <laughs> yeah, very I good. I follow the instructions. <laughs> okay. You're not a witch. Is that lemon juice? Uh, lime juice. Lime yeah, juice. Yeah, because it's all about citrus. <laughs> and then that's fish sauce. Oh, okay. oh. Switch it up. Switch it up. And then I'm going to be putting the lime zest in. Guess what that is? Oh, you, you just that smell is it. ginger. Ginger. Yeah. Grated, grated ginger. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put in those uh, onions, the green onion. Nice. Oh, this smells oh. so good. Oh, I know. You know what? This is an outstanding burger recipe as well. And then, you know, because I like hot, she said yeah. some, but I, you know, what the heck. Okay, good. Go for it. And then we're going to, oh, Sweet. and the brown sugar as yeah. well. And hang on, where's my gloves? Oh, we only have one left. Okay, uh -oh. well, I'll, I'll, I'll massage have used with one two hand. In the first time. I know, no, but I spilled something and I used the other one too. So anyway, okay, okay, so that's Should I be doing yeah, this mix right that now? up, okay. yeah, mix that up, and then now we're gonna put the the the. You can get lean pork. We're going to put the pork in there and put yeah. it in my drawer here. And then I can do it with one hand. And then you're going to sort of fold it in like you said. Yeah, That's fold perfect together, folding. Gently. And I think a lot of people just sort of smush it up or they even use like a beater. It's like, no, oh. no, bad. And then here's her tricky thing. She put cornstarch in it. Oh, yeah? I think so that's a neat idea up, to thicken it up because it's pretty juicy, but she wanted all those flavors. Okay. And then it calls for panko. The only thing I did with her recipe is that uh, you can buy whole wheat panko. Yeah. And so I put the whole wheat panko in there. And her burgers are a little bit wetter. 
Yeah. And so what you want to do is make this up maybe an hour or so before, form it into the patties, and then you're going to chill it. Got it. And it makes four. Now, they're honking big burgers, man. So. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I want to know, when you were judging this competition, did you just eat burgers all day? Is no, we only did? No, we had two burgers. And it was funny, because in the competition, Cook for the Books, yeah. for Taste Canada, it was, uh, it was the Pucker Cookbook, and we had a burger, and then it was the Bison Burger, and we had a burger. But the other ones we had, oh my gosh, I had salmon. So and, much food. Oh, I, I did. Oh. I ate so much That's food. That's yummy. Okay, now back to here. Now, you can grill them if you want to, but my dad fried absolutely everything. Oh, yeah, so, so did we. So, we're going to fry things. So, uh -huh. oh, I got to try. I had to turn this back up. Right. So, uh, uh, so, so, let's say they chilled. They you chilled for an hour, out. and I put them on. I'm sorry there's one missing because I had to eat it yesterday. But anyway... <laughs> It makes four. <laughs> it was really good. And I couldn't remember. We understand. And, and this one I burnt. But if you want to taste the top part of it, yeah. you can taste the top part right now. We'll let you eat that if you Where want did to. You, which, well, which side did you burn? The part that's not showing. I, I like. <laughs> I like burnt food. It's the only kind I cook. Oh, no. Heck, oh, no. Here, here's the burnt that's side. That's good, Mary. Yeah, look. Come on. I couldn't show that. Anyway, yeah. yeah that's, but that's what I'm used to eating pretty really? much. Really? Oh, that's mm -hmm. horrible. That's carcinogenic. That's how I cook. Anyway, okay. So that's that one. Very now, good. The, the trick with the bison burger is that you don't cook the living daylights of them because they're so tender. Okay. And so you do them for about, you know, three minutes per side. But you also always want to do burger by, by internal temperature. Yeah. And, and don't stick it like this because then you're taking the temperature of the pot. Right. Okay. <laughs> Right on. And, and, and there's pickled onions, but you can get the recipe online. And Ooh, that's going to be one of our condiments that we're going to make, too. Pickled red onions. Cityline.ca, okay. uh, we put all of our recipes on yes. there. We know the viewers love it.